The government regulators and the operators of a nuclear power plant are trying to figure out why several gallons of radioactive water leaked into Lake Michigan over the weekend. The Palisades nuclear power plant remains shut down tonight while they look for the source of the leak and make repairs. WSBT's Ted Land visited a park not far from the plant. And Ted, what are you hearing from people who are out on the beaches? Well, Rick and Jennifer, it's an unsettling thought that radioactive water, even if it's a very small amount, would make it out into Lake Michigan. This from a power plant which has had problems before. At Van Buren State Park, Mark Laramie and his friends were reminded that even though they're off the grid, they're still not really that far from our built world. It's gorgeous, obviously, minus you know, that, but you don't get away from that anywhere you go unless you go far away. So, The Palisades nuclear power plant sits about a mile down the beach. Tonight, it's idle because of a leak that resulted in a small discharge of radioactive water into Lake Michigan. 79 gallons, the equivalent of a little less than two average bathtubs. Obviously, that's not good. Um, I mean, I get mad about ribbons and balloons, so radiation is obviously not thrilling either. In a statement, the operators of Palisades said, quote, the plant is in a safe and secure condition, and the Nuclear Regulatory Commission has been notified. There's no impact on the health and safety of plant employees or the public. The NRC also says there's no threat to humans and that the radioactive water was quite diluted by the time it made it to the lake. Groups opposing nuclear power plants, however, say regulators and the plant's operator are downplaying the seriousness of the incident. This plant is an accident waiting to happen and it really needs to be permanently shut down before the worst happens there. There have been leaks at Palisades before, as recently as February. The NRC once listed the facility among the least safe nuclear power plants in the U.S. They say it's improved since then, though after this week, there's more work to be done. The NRC sent an expert to Palisades to help look for the source of the leak, which is believed to be in a water storage tank. Jennifer. All right, Ted Land reporting live from the newsroom tonight. Thanks.